Good morning. Today we're going to evaluate a limit. So the limit as x approaches positive infinity of the function e to the negative x times the sine of x. So as we usually begin, we're going to start with by looking at the form. Form of this limit as e goes to positive infinity, e to the negative x goes to zero. It's an elementary function. Uh, if you, uh, or it's e to the x reflected about the y-axis if you want to think about that, but generally e to the negative x is described as an elementary function uh, as well as the sine of x. As the sine of x goes to positive infinity, well, it doesn't rest on any one number. It goes between uh, positive and negative one, so we say that that limit does not exist. And we don't, deter we don't say that zero times does not exist is zero, does not exist, does not exist. It does, it's not a number. Zero times a number equals zero, not zero times something that doesn't exist. So we have to use something here. And it's based on uh, the fact that we uh, just discussed earlier about how we got that does not exist form there, the sine of x, and that's that for its entire domain, uh, the sine of x is between positive and negative Oh, ooh, sorry, the sine of x, not just the sin, <laughs> the sine of x is between negative and positive 1 for its entire domain. Um, what we're going to use here now is we're going to use the squeeze theorem. And you may remember the squeeze theorem when we were uh, computing limits as they went to numbers. Well, it, it still holds as um, we go to infinity and just a little visual representation of the squeeze theorem as it went to a number was that uh, we had a we had some function and this is just representational of course here this middle function that we were trying to determine what the limit was and we had a function that we said was greater than that function and we said that that func that, that there was a function also less than that function and then we said if this top function went to a number and the bottom function went to the number then it squeezed the middle function the limit of the limit the common limit of the top and the bottom function was also the limit of the center function so it's the same concept here and it's based the way we we uh, use it is is really it centers in on using your brain and making this little inequality here and that's that the sine of x is between negative one and positive one on its entire domain and then if we multiply through by a function since this statement is true if we multiply every term of this this uh, inequality by a function or a value the inequality holds true so we have an e to the negative x here and if we multiplied sine of x by e to the negative x, we would have the function we wanted. So we multiply the entire inequality by e to the negative x. So we get uh, negative e to the negative x is less than or equal to e to the negative x times the sine of x is less than or equal to e to the negative x. So now we have our inequality. Uh, it, we just multiply by through by e to the negative x. The, this inequality is, is still true here. So we look at the limits on each end. The limit as e to the negative x goes to positive infinity. Well, that goes, if you just want to look at it, it goes to um, negative e to the negative infinity, which also is another way of saying uh, negative 1 over e to the infinity, which is another way of saying negative 1 over uh, infinity, which of course goes to 0. And then we look at e to the negative x. It's going to have a much the same. You could look at the elementary function. You really don't have to go through this process. But anyway, uh, that of course goes to e to the infinity, I mean negative infinity, which is of course 1 over e to the infinity, which is of course 1 over infinity, which is of course 0. So we have both of the functions that are, that are that e to the negative x sine of x is squeezed in between. They're both going to the same number, which is in 0, zero so therefore we can say that e to the negative x times sine of x goes 
to zero as well. And that is our answer. And that's how you do it.